Last week, the government announced a recruitment freeze in the health service. Just a week before, they had announced a 14 billion euro surplus in the national budget. The recruitment freeze includes administrative and managerial posts, but also frontline care workers, such as home care workers, junior doctors and agency staffing. The government said that there will be no further growth in the HSE workforce in 2024. This is at a time when there's over 700,000 people on hospital waiting lists. Junior doctors are crucial to helping to reduce waiting lists. They are already working long, unsafe hours, and this will get worse with the recruitment freeze. There are over 6,000 people waiting for home care, which hasn't been provided because of the lack of care workers. The recruitment freeze means that old people in need of care will be neglected or be forced to remain in hospital beds because no home care can be provided. Even the HSC Chief Executive has said that the funding in the budget for the health services in 2024 won't be enough to deliver the service. To cut waiting lists, we need additional funding for the recruitment of more frontline health workers. The Fianna Fáil Fianna Gael and Green government is pursuing an agenda of underfunding and privatisation of healthcare. This will serve to fill the pockets of billionaires like Dennis O'Brien, who owns the Beacon Hospital, and Larry Goodman, who owns the Hermitage, the Blackrock Clinic and Galway Clinic. Socialists would nationalise all private hospitals under a 32-county national public health service.